as per special request, I'm bringing out a different kind of Sega game in which it is a wrestling game, but I don't think anybody has ever made an LP of it, or let alone made a video of it. And if they have, well, pretty much it's always playthrough when not a commentary like video. So this is going to be the first. But definitely not the last. I notice I'm doing a lot of Sega videos as of late. I'm, I'm kind of glad I'm putting something back Sega related. So I hope it's one of your favorites as it is one of mine. This is called Cutie Suzuki Ringside Angel. And this is actually based off an actual character, I mean an actual person by the name of Cutie Suzuki. Forgot her real name, but all the characters that you're seeing are actual wrestlers from Japan. And these are probably all the all the um, known all the known wrestlers back then. Because this game came out in 1990. And this game is brought to us by Asmic. played this game before. The other thing um, is I've always just watched it more than I've played it. So we're going to put it to um, watch because let's see there's one player two player watch for So let's just put something together while I share something, um, while I share something that I thought of while I was out yesterday. Well, I know it's been a long time since I actually talked about this, but it's one thing I've kind of noticed and pretty much I think I've talked about it quite a bit, but I haven't spoken about it much. And, um, it's about the fan base, the community, and the community and its people. And now it's changed over the years.
Like, for one, well, remember back in the days when wrestling was just mainly about wrestling? It wasn't about storylines. It wasn't about personalities and whatnot. It was more about the matches, you know? And I mean, it, it really was about the matches, you know, even even if they did the the occasional shit talking, it wasn't, you know, terrible. It was just It wasn't, you know, terrible. But you know, it's mainly about shit talking, you know. I miss wrestling in the in a way that you know it was just about the shit talking and the match, nothing more. It wasn't so much about the um, it wasn't so much about you know the shit talking because it was part of you know the entertainment. That was the entertainment value. And the funny thing about it was, you know, I didn't mind wrestling of that caliber. It's like Tecmo World Wrestling, for example. When I did commentary for that, you know, I just went into the mode of being the commentator. I wasn't much of the player, but more of the commentator. And I enjoyed, you know, watching a good wrestling match. You know, back in the days, you know, you had, you had your favorites, which is okay. But, you know, back in the day, it wasn't about, you know, I hate this person, I can't stand this person. Because of A, B, C, D, E, and E, F, G. I don't like this person because blah, blah, this and blah, blah, that. These days. These days. The fan base has become more or less toxic, if anything else. Because it's the way they act. And I don't mean in wrestling alone. I mean it's everywhere. In sports, in anime. Just and even in comic books. You know, even in the comic universe. There has been, you know, I feel you know, there's a whole level of toxicity going on. And what most people don't don't get is that that most times, you know, it's okay to not like something, but you know, there's such a how should I say this? To say something is shit, that means it's terrible. So to say, well, I like this more than I like this. That's a whole matter of opinion. Safe to say, when you kind of look at this, it's like I'm looking at Glow. Remember Glow, Gorgeous Ladies of Wrestling? I 
mean, I look at, I look at, I look at wrestling games now, and it's like, there are too many people who are just too damn hot for their own good just to get a wrestling game. It's like, online gaming. Well, let's see, you got, you got ranks, right? And it seems like that's the new thing now. It's like, how you rank as a gamer sort of reflects how you are as a gamer. Especially if it's something like, um, any kind of fighting game. And I mean, like, Tatsunoko versus Capcom, Street Fighter 4, possibly Street Fighter 5, King of Fighters, WWE, And most people, I'm drinking hot chocolate, by the way. Um, most people Most people who do Most people Most people who do play it the, play these games they get really really aggressive. It's like take for instance Take for instance I was playing a, I was I got a I got a comment to one of my one of my older um games one of my older DS games that I that I play but I haven't done in one. Bleach Dark Souls. I get a reply saying that I suck at I suck at this one game. And you know this person the pro. I see this is yeah okay so so you're a pro. What do you want me to what, what do you want me to say about it? You could possibly do better in this game than I could. And I handled it with such class, it's like, well, let's see. Like, so if you, so if you are, that's fine. I've got nothing to prove. And really, I don't. As a gamer, I'm only in it for one thing. I just want to play the game, and I want to finish it. I want to see it to, to the very end. I want to see the credits after I'm done with, with every game that I do. Whether it be a RPG or you know a, a shooter or or you know a beat 'em up or even something like this, I want to see credits. It's kind of like this. It's kind of hard to actually like something now because there's so many people out there who are so goddamn judgmental and so stupid because most people most people they just straight up lose it it's like even in the anime community we got I mean, there are so many people who basically want to live the otaku lifestyle. They don't even know what the otaku lifestyle is. And they honestly believe, okay, the otaku lifestyle means you go to every con, you you dress up in character. You take selfies. You do just about everything that is considered, you know, the new geek. Otaku is the new geek. But the thing is... But the thing is, um, the way it is... Back in the days... 
I mean, back in the days, well, believe it or not, back in the 80s, or rather, we can go back, well, my era was during the 80s. And mo most of us who have been around for like generations have been have started in the 80s. Yeah, our generation started in the 80s, so. That's what I'm saying, my generation. Our generation started in the 80s, right? And we had so many things that was going on during the 80s. And the biggest boom that was going on in the 80s was cartoons. In a greater sense, anime. We didn't know about anime. It, to us, it was just Japanese cartoons, because all cartoons were all cartoons were kind of like the same. They all looked the same. But the thing is, you know, later later on, anime was becoming bigger, especially in the '90s. I mean, the biggest anime, the biggest anime that ever came out during the '80s were Voltron. Macross. Over here was Dubbed as Robotech. Um, and other such notable titles like Mazinger Z, but it was called Tran Transor Z. And when it all came out, you know, when it really all came out, well, to be quite honest, you know, it was, it was a great time because, you know, we bought stuff just because you know, it was there, it was part of the, the toy lineup. You basically, I mean, if the series was good, you became a fan of it. Because you always wanted to know what was going on. You always wanted to know what went on right after, you know, one episode. I mean, even to this day, to me, you know, that that's what it came down to. In this case, well it's not the same as today in today's city. Because it only meant one thing. If you liked anime, there was a certain type of anime you like. Like for me, I like vintage stuff. Anything considering it's Voltron or or Go Lion, Macross, or Robotech. If it was Sailor Moon or Utana. Hell, even the, even the cartoons I they used to come on network TV, like the real Ghostbusters, Cops, Jason Wheel Warriors. I liked it. I watched it. Because it was so interesting that I watched it. So that, so that's, so that's an interesting thing, you know? But the fan base today has a different outlook of how everything is. I stay away from certain communities because the people there do intimidate me. It's like with, um, say, 
say with sports fans. You say something about a certain team. Oh, they're ready for blood. And I look and I look at now, it's like. So you talk about people are butthurt. Everybody's goddamn butthurt, you know? If their favorite team isn't winning. Butthurt. Your favorite anime, out of season, but hurt. You have a certain movie that you want to see, but you gotta wait a couple of years for it to make from for it to make a sequel, but hurt. I'm serious when I say this because. This generation is a whole mess of butter. And I know, mo I, I know I'm gonna get I'm not gonna get some flack for saying this. But that's kinda like this. It's okay to like a series. It's okay to like a certain team. But don't go overboard about it. It's the same thing with music. Oh, God. Especially when the Justin Bieber boom came out. I mean, it was Bieber mania. Every, you know, every... Every... Every girl wanted to, to be with Justin Bieber. You know, in real life, that shit would never happen. First off, a move like that, that can only exist in Kitty Command. I'm just saying, that's the only way that shit can work. If it was Kitty Command, under Kitty Command standards, fine. In the other case, that shit would not fly. And I mean it too. It's like I can't stand this generation. Like, I don't care for it, but I just can't stand this generation. Like, everybody has to be so damnable. Everybody gotta be so damnable, um, defensive about their shit. It's like I'm playing, I'm, I'm playing a wrestling game. That's more tactical than anything else. Because you're not playing it, because the way I see it, you're not playing it like normal wrestling. Like you're going, like you go in a, like you go in a certain motion. Like say WWE, if I was playing a WWE game, I'd be, I would have to be in a certain position to pull off this move. I would have to face the opponent, or I would have to be behind the opponent, or I would have to run and knock the opponent out or something like that. I would have to, you know, go through 20 minutes just to beat one, one opponent up. That's how long it would take me. Because we're talking about stamina and all that. I gotta wear the stamina down and damn near out because they're not gonna just... Because it's not like Tecmo World Wrestling. Oh. Two minutes, bam, I can pin you. In 10 minutes, I can just pin you, bam, just like that. I mean, it's sad to say, but the this generation that we live in is pretty fucked up. 
I mean, I'm serious. It's pretty fucked up because... They got no balls. They got no skin. You say one little thing. Oh, they... This, this pretty much is generation. You say this is the video. Your wife is shit. They make this shit. But guess what? Perhaps what you have is shit. Perhaps what you consider. Perhaps what I consider shit to you is like, oh, well, you say, this game is shit. Why would you play this? It's like even with, with, even with some of the viewers. Like I know some of, like some of the um, games I do, they might not be on par, they might not be popular, they might not be, they might not have the it factor, or the way I play it. But the thing is, I'm doing it because I like it. It's like if I did Parasite Eve a certain way. Most are gonna be judgmental because, oh, I'm doing it the easy way. And the thing is, not everyone does the, not everyone does the same thing, you know, not everyone has the same exact play style. That's what most people don't get. Not everyone has the same thing. They do it, you know, there's a way I can do this, and there's no way that some other, some other person can do that. But aside from that, you know, it's it's technically at the end of the day just me playing one game. That said, I mean, that said, it's, it's just, it's just all on taste, you know, this generation today. I can say, has some taste, but they don't realize that, that they don't know how to compliment each other. They're always at odds with each other. Or if not that, if they're not at odds with each other, then they're at war with each other. Just because of a matter of opinion. It's a sad thing, but that's really what it is. That's what causes wars. That's what breaks up friendships. That's what makes the world stay the way it is because nobody can get along with each other. It's a sad thing, but that's what it is. I mean, I, I personally... I personally have no problem with playing old games. And I have no problem playing new games. I have no problem with doing, you know, certain games 
that are requested of me. I mean, requested or not, I'll do them. It's not that I'm going to turn it down and say no. I mean, that's just how it is, you know? It's not because I'm a Let's Player. It's just... I have... I have basically A, B, C, D, E, F, G. This many, um... This many frogs happening and whatnot. And I have my and I have my say about it, you know. But it doesn't take away from what I do. I mean, I'm not I'm not ever gonna call a game shit unless it's totally necessary. And that's only because if it don't play right, if it don't work right, it's just the way it is. It's a piece of shit. So I think with this, all I have to say in the end, guys, seriously, just get along. If you can't get along, keep the trap shut. Our generation, our generation back then was so much better than this generation that we see now because they get caught up in so much shit. That they will stick their own lives for it. And that's a bad thing. I mean, we lost so many people this year. Well known or not. And it wasn't even a matter of opinion. It was just... It was just something else. Aside from that, as fans, Learn to like something and enjoy it for what it's worth. But don't get all out there and get and get it twisted and therefore just make it toxic to where other people like you want to like it but are afraid to because of what one person, meaning you or somebody else, has a stronger matter of opinion because there are some things you don't like about it. And, you know, you would get you would get all wigged out about it, and there's no reason for you to do so. Anyway, I think I said my piece about what I had to say on this video. This was Cutie Suzuki. No Ringside Angel. Until the very next time of playing whatever I feel like playing, this is the Tenkaichi of gaming. Pookie is 7 and I'll see you with even more random videos. Until then, take care, God bless, and as always, Tenkai Muso. Oh, and this request was for Shinomori Bot.